Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Austin. This is Gone at 60, and this is my 2023 Volkswagen Golf R. Taking delivery of it. Guys, I'm so excited to tell you about this car. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let's get after it. All right, 2023 Volkswagen Golf R. I'll share with you guys in another video what I paid for this car, everything. I bought this car from Alabama, somewhere in the middle of Alabama. I've had this car now and it's been hard to keep it from you guys. I've had this car for uh, just over two months, probably closer to three months. I have about 1200 miles on the car, so I'll be able to rip on this thing and be able to show you guys everything about it. I did get the windows tinted on it. So this is 2020 uh, tint all the way around. And these cars, until you get tint on them, they look a little goofy, but once you get tint on them, they look so much better. But I've wanted a Golf R for a long time, and the problem that I've ran across is there's just not very many out there. They're not available, they're really hard to get. Dealers mark them up to the moon, and we'll talk about that in another video. This is just the base Volkswagen Golf R, so it's not the uh, 20th uh, anniversary edition, but personally, the 20th anniversary edition doesn't really do it for me. I mean, I, I found one or two of those pretty close to sticker, uh, but at the end of the day, just with the blue mirror caps, uh, just some different stitching, sunroof delete, just some other stuff, it just wasn't that special enough for me to go, hey, I want that. So I took delivery of this car from Alabama, and guys, it has been fun. It is awesome. I've loved this car. Of course, as you guys know, I got the manual transmission. <laughs> And if you guys are following Volkswagen, this might be one of the last years they actually have a manual transmission in these cars. But overall, this car is such a blast to drive at nighttime. The interior lighting and everything is so amazing in here. We'll talk about the infotainment in another video. But honestly, in short, it's been probably the fa my favorite infotainment system I've used. Uh, I, I want to give it more time, but I'm going to make quite a few videos on this infotainment system that everybody has ripped and just says is awful. But uh, the car just, it's from the seats, uh, heated and ventilated front seats, and also the rear seats are also heated, which is really, really cool. Uh, but this car, I just have, I've wanted a Golf R. I was looking at GTIs. You guys know, before I got my WRX, I was considering a GTI. Now, a Golf R, I've came close to buying Golf Rs before in the past. Uh, the closest I could ever get was like three grand over sticker. And I'll share this on another video with you guys. But man, just from the gauge cluster, all the different things that you guys can change on here. I'll go ahead and fire it up. All right, let me go through just some of the different views that you can get, which is pretty sweet. So you can, you can do navigation. And sorry, it's like really, really bright. You can do just just so many different things on here. This is one of my favorites that I like. But I love just the customization of the car. It's so sweet. Uh, down here, you can get access to all of your different modes that you want. You have sport, you have race. And you'll notice if you guys can listen to this, when I went to race, you could tell the engine got louder. And uh, you even have custom modes. You have different things that you can do. Uh, the ambient lighting is so awesome. You can change all the different colors on here and uh, you can you can make this be so many different things and you can just see as I go through some of this it'll it'll adjust and change it. but man it is it has been it has been fun. Um, here you have the Harman Kardon sound system and the Harman Kardon in here not quite as good as my Subaru WRX. We'll talk about that in another video. But just from a usability standpoint, just a whole bunch of creature comforts, double tap, heated seats come on, the heated seats stay on, which I love about that. A lot of manufacturers, as you turn on your heated seats over time, it goes down to two dots, one dot, and then it's off. Uh, but really easy to use, really intuitive, a lot of different shortcuts. You know, I can make it so, you know, I can turn off traction control just with a swipe down. Um, man, I just, I really have loved this car. It has been a lot of fun. I do want to get a little bit more turbo sounds out of the car. I do want a little bit more exhaust notes out of the car. Uh, I think this car is so comfortable to drive that 
it doesn't feel that rowdy. Like it just feels like really just kind of put together and I'd like to make it a little more obnoxious. I want some more turbo sounds. I want, uh, <laughs> I want some more exhaust sounds. Now, as you guys are contemplating getting a Golf R, whether you get a DSG or a manual, you can't go wrong. Uh, you know, is this the best manual I've ever driven? No, it's not. Um, I understand why, especially in these cars, you start to tune, tune them. You're going to need to replace the clutch. Uh, it, so if you if you guys are following Volkswagen, you know about it. The DSGs get about 20 more horsepower than the manuals do. So this is 315 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque, and the DSGs, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is uh, 315 and then 300 pound feet of torque. So and also with the DSG, you get launch control. But let me walk you guys around the back. You guys can just listen to the idle of the exhaust, and then uh, I'll rev it up for you guys. So idle in stock form, this is this is as loud. I mean, obviously I've started up before I came out, but this is just kind of the stock idle. Not bad, but could be better. Another thing that I, I personally just think from a design aspect looks so awesome. This bar, as you guys probably saw in the start of the video, uh, lights up, but I love the blue accents that the Golf R gets. And here you have these massive, massive brakes on here. The blue with the R looks so good. And uh, you know, and the stock wheels, they look really good on there. I'm not like in a hurry to change them out or replace them, although I think it could look pretty awesome. And then, you know, you got blue accents in the leather around there. You got the blue R up there. These seats are super comfortable around the shifter, floor mats, over on the steering wheel, blue stitching. Like overall, I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. And then if you guys, you know, what I think Volkswagen does a good job with is their design. Like it's just clean and basic and it's like, hey, you wanna pop open the trunk? You just push that in and then you're into the trunk. And then you can kind of see the blue on the side of the headrest. And I wish there was a button that would close this, but essentially just kind of grab here and just pull it down. So overall guys, I still have a lot of opinions and I need to form about the car. Feels fast, um, you know, feels decently faster than my WRX and it should, um, it definitely should. But uh, driving, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. I want to make it a little bit more rowdy. Um, it's very comfortable. Uh, probably one of the more comfortable cars that I've driven and owned and because it's so comfortable It doesn't feel as fast as what you actually are doing and so we'll do zero to 60 times We'll do a lot of different testing around the car, but I've had a lot of fun This is a car that I've wanted for a lot of time for a long time and you know with all-wheel drive If you guys aren't familiar the golf R's have all-wheel drive on them. So just with winter around the corner and different things uh, and we'll talk more about that and their all-wheel drive system. This car does have drift mode. I haven't even tried that. It's, it's where you can send, you know, the, the back end, take a little bit of uh, uh, traction control away from it so you can slide around corners. So there's a lot of cool things on this car that I have not got to or experimented with. But I just wanted to share with you guys this video, share with you my new Volkswagen Golf R. I'd love you guys' opinions below if you're hyped for this car for the channel. If you don't like Volkswagen Golf Rs, what type of videos you'd like to see me make, what what comparisons you'd like to see me do. But overall, uh, we'll, be, we'll be hitting it pretty hard with the Golf R content. I'll be taking you guys along for some rides, for some drives, for some POVs. And, uh, you know, I'm still kind of contemplating mods that I want to do from exhaust, cold air intake. I think those are givens. Uh, in terms of tuning, tuning, I need to do some more research of what's out there, of what maybe I'd want to do at that point with the clutch and different things. But for right now, just enjoying it in stock form, driving it around. This is my 2023 Golf R. I'm Austin. This has gone in 60. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're hyped for this Volkswagen Golf R content, and we will catch you on the next video.